Now, when we first started getting press, we had done a, a pink, what we called a pink mass in, uh, <laughs> in Mississippi. And what we had done was it was a counter protest against the Westboro Baptist Church. And um, we had done one event before that where we actually uh, came out on the side of Rick Scott in Florida passing a bill that allowed for prayer in school, really because we thought he didn't want Satanist endorsement. We're playing around a little bit then. <laughs> but with the pink mask, they came to Boston um, during the marathon, or they, they threatened to come to Boston during the marathon bombing to protest the uh, funerals of the victims. And then we thought we should respond in kind somehow. They never showed up. They said they were there in spirit, so we wanted to find a way to be with them in spirit. So we looked up where Fred Phelps's mother was buried. We went there and we held a homoerotic, uh, satanic ritual at the grave site, which uh, ultimately um, ended with me in that pose you see now. <laughs> and um, we, when I was talking to the press, I would tell them this kind of nuanced position we had, that uh, we didn't believe in the supernatural, but our belief was that due to their beliefs, they were obligated to believe that his mother was now gay in the afterlife. <laughs> and because our beliefs were inviolable, they could say what they want, but we were free to believe that they believe that she's gay in the afterlife. There's nothing, there's nothing they can say about it. And with that, we were really playing with uh, the Westboro Baptist Church's own notions that they were kind of putting forward. They, they went all the way to the Supreme Court to defend their, their right to be the pricks they are. And um, they, they were basically arguing that belief is inviolable, and we were putting forward that our beliefs about your beliefs are inviolable. <laughs>